As many of you may be aware, Valorant is all the rage right now with record viewership up on streaming platforms and social media. However, there has been some recent drama regarding Vanguard Anti-Cheat, the software you're required to install alongside the game. Users are concerned about the security and privacy issues associated with the kernel level driver that runs 24-7 off of system startup. So today I'll be dispelling a lot of misinformation that many people might have when they hear that Vanguard is a form of intrusive anti-cheat. I'm Sionic Kevin and you can follow me on Twitch and the social links down below. For anyone who's played competitive online games, you've probably run into a cheater at some point. Everyone hates people who use them, and cheats in general destroy the integrity and overall quality of the game. Because of the existing industry behind video game cheat development, having an effective anti-cheat in place to detect and prevent people from using those cheats is required to provide a quality experience. Riot Games unveiled Valorant as a game with a focus on competitive play and esports. From the very first announcement, marketing for the game featured high tick rate servers, optimized performance for high frame rates, and most importantly, a powerful anti-cheat system known as Vanguard. It's required to install with the game, asks you to restart your system, and then run 24-7 whenever the system is started up. For some people, this can be unsettling, and there's been some backlash over whether this level of invasiveness is a breach of privacy. There could be some speculation that Tencent, the company in China that owns Riot Games and also works closely with the Chinese government, may have other motives. However, the important issue at hand is whether or not Vanguard can actually effectively detect cheaters with such high level privileges. To better understand the different levels of powers for a system, here is a comprehensive diagram that visually explains it. The inner circles have way more administrative powers, and Vanguard has a driver, which operates in the kernel level, otherwise known as Ring Zero. This is mandatory because non-intrusive anti-cheats operate outside of Ring Zero, and modern cheat developers create and sell their cheats, which operate within the kernel, in order to stay undetected. It is also important to note that Valorant is built off of Unreal Engine 4, which has source codes and other publicly available information. This means that it's very easy to create cheats for Valorant because of this engine, and so the anti-cheats role is to detect these cheats effectively and prevent offending accounts from ever being able to play the game via hardware bans. And it does exactly that. So far we've seen cheaters on some public servers only to have their account terminated mid-match. Just run around and just die. Chat, we did it. Swoopty is here. Swoopty gifted 200 subs, and they canceled our game. Thank God. Whoever the the whoever's the 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 whoever's the actual riot employee, thank you for doing that because that was a boring game. Thank God this game is not like wow. CS, and they don't much like you sit in a lobby with cheaters, dude. And the AI for the anti-cheat will only improve as it continues to consume more data on existing and newer cheating software that gets detected. This ultimately increases the amount of time and effort that cheat developers will have to put into figuring out how to bypass the anti-cheat while also maintaining it in an undetected state, which is extremely difficult with the amount of information Vanguard has access to. It's imperative that Vanguard runs on startup and 24-7, because otherwise the cheats will have some breathing room to find a way into the game. If the anti-cheat isn't intrusive, then there will be cheats that remain undetected, which will ultimately destroy the integrity of the game and the competitive scene that Riot is trying to build with Valorant. If you're scared of Riot games, then you have the option of not playing the game. They have a vision in mind, and as a competitive gamer, I fully support that they're putting in the proper measures to achieve that end goal. If you want more technical information, I'll link a post from Riot's security and privacy team that explains how the entire system works. I hope this video was informative and you've learned something new and why intrusive anti-cheats are basically an industry standard for competitive games. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.